Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan. Uh, this is a completely different tutorial than I've ever done. Well, not so much a tutorial. Well, a little bit. Um, but uh, I had a problem. I, I'm working on a sculpture um, because uh, I'm, I've got a, a project that's coming up in, um, it's actually in the beginning of September. It's for the Eastern Idaho State Fair and uh, it's the Sugar Art Show. I'm entering a uh, a figurine um, in the in the contest and uh, because there are rules that say you cannot publish um, your work even progress shots or anything like that beforehand um, I wasn't able to record well I mean I recorded it of course I did uh, but I wasn't able to show it um, because of that and I wanted to take some time and show what I did without showing the, that work because I didn't want to break the rules. So anyway, I'm in Clip Studio Paint and I ended up, uh, well, at first I started with uh, Manga Studio 5, um, the, the trial version, and it was awesome. Um, I was able to do everything I needed to for this sculpture. Um, as far as modeling out, you know, planning out my, my pose uh, and getting everything set up using um, the trial version. And the, the only thing that I wasn't able to do, of course, was save the file because it was the trial version. I wasn't able to import or export the, um, the models that I was using. So what I ended up doing was um, creating it and then going around, you know, the, this, this isn't the model. Um, it's actually a, a two, a two character model. And, uh, so anyway, um, so ended up getting screenshots all the way around because I couldn't, again, I couldn't export, I couldn't do anything. So it was, it was screenshot time. So the whole thing, the whole thing ended up <clears throat> just being, you know, my hours and hours of keeping the the pose open the keeping the file open while i was working and getting screenshots capturing video so i could use that for reference um because when i'm doing sculpture it's really hard for me to get anatomy right to get uh you know movement and and anything that looks that, that's supposed to look human um, to get it uh, to look right. Um, I, I seem to be able to do okay with, uh, you know, uh, characters and, and even when I'm working in fondant or, or uh, in Sculpey or something like that, and it seems to be easy to get characters that are less human-like. Um, so anyway, I, that's, that's a weakness I have. Um, but anyway, so I, I worked in uh, Manga Studio Pro, or uh, yeah, the trial version, and it was it was great. I have all these screenshots. I prepared them in Photoshop so that I have them, and I've begun my um, my sculpture. Uh, so that's cool. Um, but uh, you know, I wanted to show how I did that. Um, but first, I have this problem or I had this problem of not being able to import characters poses um, to use uh, and I figured hey you know what if I'm being El Cheapo and trying to save money doing it that way I wanted to show you guys how to uh, accomplish the same thing that I was able to do so this is an example um, I have uh, all of these superhero poses now since uh, let me let me do a caveat since the uh creating that sculpture and doing all of that work um i have uh purchased uh clip studio paint and it looks like i've got uh, version 1.6.2 because that's you know the one that's available right now and i i got it uh last week or whatever it was when i was working on another sculpture that i wanted to work on um but anyway, so basically um, now I have the full version of Clip Studio Paint Pro 
so I can save and, and add to the uh, the body the 3D poses and, and body types and all of that stuff. And I can save files and, you know, it's awesome. But I wanted to show you guys what I did first before I uh, ended up purchasing the, the program. So the first thing I did was I found uh, Michael Hartleff's uh, Superhero Poses, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. And he has, if you can find them... Um, I don't know that I'm at liberty to give a link because of, you know, they were, they were freely available. It's, you know, it's not like I did anything illegal when I got them oh, over a year ago. Um, <clears throat> but I can't seem to find where they were, um, available for, for download for free anymore. Um, so I, I may see about contacting him and uh, finding a way to distribute them again um, if he's down with that. Otherwise, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, however, so I switched over to Google Chrome and I'm going to do uh, Clip Studio Paint Pose. And you can see there are a bunch. Um, if you go into Images and you can search. Um, there are a bunch of poses that you can find. Um, a lot of folks do on DeviantArt for Manga Studio or for uh, Clip Studio. Anyway, um, a, a lot of them are for pay, and that's awesome because then you're supporting our artists. So let me see if I can find Michael Hartleff uh, Superhero Poses. So this will load on Twitter, and okay. So here's his thing, and it's it's got the but. Uh, all right, y'all. I was tired of trying to track it down, and I did. I've got it. So actually, it's on Facebook. So www.facebook.com slash art of Michael Hartleff. And you get to this handy page where he has Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3. And in each of those, um, in each of those libraries, after you download them, I will show you, you get um, a library thing, uh, a little list of all the thumbnails that are in each, each pack, and a, that little quick start guide that um, talks you through how to uh, use each, um, each 3D pose. Um, and again, you can do that with the free version. So if you have the trial version and you don't have uh, the 50 bucks for Clip Studio Pro, um, or the 300 or whatever it is for the EX version, um, you can open it with the trial, um, and at least you could with Manga Studio. I'm not sure now. Uh, don't quote me on that. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that you can open it with Clip Studio, the trial version. So anyway, um, he walks you through how to do that, and so that's what I've done. So I'm going to show you really quick um, how I used one of these uh, poses from a standard uh, 3D pose from Clip Studio and created um, a pretty cool little um, pose that I can use for a sculpture. So here we go. So here I am back in uh, Clip Studio Paint. Uh, this is the pro version again. Um, and it's about 50 bucks or whatever. So I start with this basic model. I drag in this uh, superhero pack where he's kneeling, and I adjust you know, the camera angle so I can make sure that I get uh, the pose in the, in the way that I want. So basically what you do is you click individual uh, parts of the body, if you're not familiar with uh, this, this aspect of Clip Studio, and you just drag on the different axes uh, to bend the, the pose to where you want it. 
and so I'm just going to speed this up a little bit uh, let you watch uh, watch me work and um, then uh, when it's all done I'll show you the final So uh, there you have it. There's my final pose. I'll go around it just one more time so you can kind of get a feel for what's going on here. So yeah. Um, I, and uh, again, if you don't have uh, Clip Studio Pro or if you have an older version or if you have a trial version and you're not able to uh, do any exports, um, go ahead and build your model, adjust your character, do whatever you need to, and instead of feeling like it's a waste of time, make sure and get a ton of screenshots um, from every different angle and, and whatever. So you can use it for uh, reference um, for whatever your project may be, if it's a, a drawing, a sculpture, or whatever you're using. Um, and, uh, so yeah, go ahead and, uh, see what you can come up with. Thanks. We'll see you later.